Hello everyone, my name is Gnana Raju. I'm a certified nutritionist and fitness and wellness coach working for the last 18 years. With my experience of 18 and a half years experience, I would like to present you one video on uh, caffeine safety. And before that, I wanted to you know, introduce myself. I was a former district registrar, worked as a government a group one officer, gazetted officer under government of Andhra Pradesh, worked there for 10 years, then I quit my job and working now in Herbalife Nutrition. Now I'm a 20 case in Eric's good president member. And I'm a nutritionist, fitness consultant, personal wellness coach working for the last 18 years. I'm a certified nutrition fitness consultant, certified sports nutrition consultant, certified exercise science specialist, triathlete, marathon runner, and cyclist, CPR EAD certified, and Zumba strong by Zumba instructor. <clears throat> so this uh, video is about the caffeine safety. Is it uh, caffeine is safe or bad or what? So how much is the limit, upper limit for caffeine? So caffeine is uh, available in a uh, you know, lot of things like coffee and uh, you know, uh, colas, soft drinks and including chocolates and including green tea. And uh, there are also good points about caffeine. It actually increases the concentration, increases you know, uh, memory, uh, a lot of good cognitive works are there. And while doing exercise also workouts, it gives the strength. So some of the benefits of caffeine are there. Increase your performance in cardiovascular work, improve power production and output, improve your mood during training, improve fo improves focus, reduce muscle pain and soreness and increase cognitive functions. So there are pros and there are cons also for uh, caffeine. So in uh, moderate uh, limits, you know, they work, they, caffeine is very good. And uh, if it exceeds, then there will be problem, right? So that's why we should be careful not to exceed anything. For that matter, anything, if you eat in excess, it will, you know, it's a problem. So there are a lot of good things also. Left side, you can see a lot of things are there. You know, uh, scientists research uh, show some good things about Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, type 2 diabetes, gallstone, cancer, and asthma, heart rhythm, strokes, and uh, cirrhosis of the liver, caffeine increase, affecting of certain types of painkillers, right? So it uh, acts as a stimulant. So there are some good things also there. There are, you know, if exceeds certain limits, there are also bad things also there. How much caffeine you should take, you know. Um, so before that, uh, so let us understand about, you know, where are these coffee? So in brewed coffee, about one fifty milligrams. Filter coffee, one thirty five. Instant coffee, one ten. Espresso, sixty four. Like that, so including black tea, green tea, white tea. Everything has caffeine. So if you understand, all things have, you know, most of the ca caffeine pro caffeinated uh, items are like include dark chocolate, forty five milligrams. Though dark chocolate is, has a lot of good benefits also, but it also has caffeine. Black tea also has caffeine, right? Green tea also has caffeine. So our afresh also has a similar, like 40 milligrams, right? Even Coca-Cola has even more, you know? So when children drink Coca-Cola, so why not afresh? So, but again, we get, you have to take, uh, for children's sake, you have to take advice of a consultant, a medical practitioner. So the upper limit is 400 milligrams or maximum 500 milligrams. So usually 400 is concerned for adults and uh, for children consult a pediatrician. That's what we always advise. For pregnant ladies, not more than 200 milligrams, okay? Or less, you know, per sitting according to the requirement. So, uh, and the herbal approach by and large, they are very less in uh, caffeine. So as such, they are safe. Um, but you have to, you know, Tyler make con, you know, consume as per your requirement. Afresh, for this, for, for example. So Afresh is, uh, you know, now made up of green tea extract, orange pico, green tea extract, natural caffeine powder. Since it is only, you know, 50 grams and one gram per serving size, so it, uh, it, it can give you 50 servings, right? So it just have only 40 milligrams, 40 milligrams. So that means you can take 400 is the upper limit. So 10 times you can have it have this you know in a day 400 milligrams so so 10 times coffee is not good but 10 times fresh is good okay so but you have to read the label okay so now uh, as i said remember these are the for pregnant ladies for adult 400 milligrams for heart patients not more than 200 milligrams for type 2 diabetes not more than 200 milligrams there are upper limits and safe limits but some people always, you know, here and there, some people tolerate even more. Some people, they go for less. So depending on a person to person, that's the reason I require to, you know, design the program. So the afresh, you know, this, uh, this half of the tea cup, you know, after a cup of tea goes to tea or coffee goes to 80 milligrams of caffeine. So this is only 40 milligrams. So now let us think about herbal control, the tablet. 
some people are using, you know, in terms of, you know, increasing the metabolism, a tablet contain 80 milligrams of caffeine. So daily, you should not exceed more than one, unless you require two, you can take it more, not more than two. So usually we recommend one, but again, again, depends on the person to person. So you have to understand about designing everything like chocolates, you know, colas, all together, because ultimately caffeine, it should not be crossing 400 milligrams. So caffeine intake, you have to understand. The moment uh, somebody, you know, feels, uh, you know, increased heart rate, you know, jitteriness, restlessness, the moment somebody consumes the coffee in 30 to 30 minutes to one hour, if they express the, this kind of feeling, that means they are slightly sensitive to caffeine, right? So then you have to understand and try ask them to read the label before, you know, consuming the product. So label including coffee and chocolates and teas and colas, everything they have to be particular. So caffeine, in, in case it increase, ex, increases or exceeds the limit, then it becomes like a toxin, right? We advise people with caffeine sensitive to consult a healthcare provider before consuming caffeine, right? A professional doctor, somebody who can advise on this you know, particular item. So you have to, you know, see that, you know, entirely in a day, maybe a fresh or, you know, maybe a lift up or chocolates or, you know, a brewed coffee ultimately should not cross more than 500 or 400 milligrams or at best maybe 500 milligrams. So you have to see um, everything put together, then it will be great help for you. I hope you enjoyed the session. So if you are looking for a personalized plan on diet and fitness and lifestyle, we are there for you. We can always give you design uh, unless, you know, um, um, you don't have anyone. If you have any Herbalife coach already, please uh, approach them. In case no one is there, then we are there to help you. So you can always meet us through you know, our Instagram handles are there. Facebook is there, YouTube channels and phone numbers all are given, to you, given over here. So how we are simple, ordinary, uh, lead a simple, ordinary life before coming to Herbalife Nutrition. I was also fat before. You can see me there. I worked as assistant inspector in law. Research times morning and go home, come back midnight. So I was also having belly, belly fat. So I, I worked there as a district registrar in uh, several districts like Kamam, Nalgonda, Vijayawada. There I also, with the you know, VIPs, they offer me coffee tea, I also drink. Usually I take 10 to 15 times tea coffees. So I have uh, this kind of problem. If you consume tea coffee, what will happen is, you know, a lot of acidity and gases and those kind of things will be. Uh, whereas a uh, fresh is a safe, okay? Um, so it gets like a less than five calories. So calories also do matter, not just only coffee. And also digestion point of view, coffee, they also generate a lot of acidity, coffee teas, whereas here, they actually, this is a water-like, so it's actually good for the digestion point of view. Uh, so my wife actually started, you know, uh, taking the products first, when we approached, uh, you know, uh, for her, then uh, she started losing weight, then she gave it to me, then I, my, I also used, started using, then uh, I also uh, lost about 12 kilos in just two and a half months, then we got confidence that these products do work. Now we can see 18 and a half years down the line, uh, 52 years, my wife is 44 years. We are looking awesome. And uh, this is uh, this photo was to, you know, taken almost 18, 20 years back picture. We can see the transformation, living what we preach and uh, we our diet and lifestyle and exercise, everything we changed. You know, previously I was uh, like, a, you know, uh, I was uh, leading a sedentary lifestyle. Now I am into healthy active lifestyle. Now I am a marathon runner. I do running for 42 kilometers and my wife did 5K and my children also did all the, you know, 10K and half marathon. And my, our children grown taller. You can see the transformation. My wife and me, we became slimmer. So that's a transformation with the right nutrition and fitness and uh, leading entire lifestyle. And uh, we are inspiring many people through, you know, teaching. So we teach a lot of people to change themselves also. So now because of great teachers like Jim Ron, okay, international business philosopher, Mary Com, and Virat Kohli, they are our brand ambassadors. We had the opportunity to meet them and have lunch with them. So this is a thing. And Dr. Dana Ryan, you can she's a sports nutritionist, right? And uh, Dr. Susan Bowerman. You know, she's a registered dietitian and also a professor in Harvard University. Dr. Ken Bradley, they are topmost doctors, topmost notch. Dr. David Heber is a sought after doctor in top five in America and uh, is a professor at UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles. 
Dr. Luigi Gratter and Dr. John Agnubi, top most you know, health professionals. I happened to meet them, got a training with them. So I, we are exposed internationally. 17th Surgeon General of America, Dr. Richard Henry Carmona. So we are blessed to have them as a you know, part of the board of directors. So this is what I want to tell you. We make world healthier and happier. So if you are looking for you know, uh, some kind of personal concentration, we are there to, uh, you know, um, we are there to help you. So if you uh, already have someone, please approach them. If you don't have, we are there to help you. If you like this video, please share this. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and forward to many people. So they also get benefited. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. God bless you. Tata. See you. Bye-bye.